Hey, how's it going, friends? Today, I'm going to show you what I do all the time. Anytime I like, even when I'm just a little bored and I really can't find anything to take a photo of, I look even closer and look at the textures around me, especially if you're on vacation or something like that. You might want to just uh, take your normal photos and then look around and see what you can find. I just got back from the beach and I got some close up photos of the boardwalk the beach, you know, the sand and water and the jetty stones, all the stones, I got, I got a bunch of them up close so I could convert them to black and white and use them as gritty, grungy overlays for my photos. So let's get right to it. What I like to do, not all the time, but if I'm indoors and I'm not using a tripod especially, I'll use a small light. And uh, right now I'm getting the texture off of this table that I made. Put a lot of scratches and dents in that so it would have a lot of character. And there's things all around, once you start really looking, there's, there's things all around that you can take photos of specifically just to overlay on your photos, like even concrete and blacktop, everything like that. So the first thing I like to do is remove the color. I make it monochrome. You don't have to. Uh, I find it's just easier to come up with good overlay modes if you remove the color first. But if it's a light color, you might be able to get away with it and it might actually add kind of a vintage feel to your photo. I also will bump up the contrast and maybe the clarity and the texture just to see how I can get it to look. On this beach photo, I'm kind of going for kind of a retro vibe, so I'm going to overlay this. So you're going to want to experiment with the different layer blending modes. This is darken, overlay, multiply and then I land on soft light and that's where I like it. I do however usually start with screen mode just to see how it looks. If it's too strong then I'll use one of the other layer blending modes. So I'm painting out over the subject here uh, because I'm going for more of a subtle effect here and here it is off and on. For this photo, I'm selecting one that's going to be kind of dark and obvious. And this is the soft light layer blending mode. And I just really like it right off the bat. It looks really cool. For this beach self-portrait I took, I'm going to overlay the waves that I took while I was there. These are actually the same waves from that day. And I'm going to overlay them with overlay and then paint out a mask on my face, just kind of a, an effect on the background and not so much on my skin. So for this one, I'm going to use two textures. One is stone and one is concrete. And I'm using the concrete because it has all these fine scratches and everything, uh, highlights and shadows, these little spots everywhere, and it'll look good even on the skin. So I'm just going to leave it all on. And for the stone layer, I'm going to paint out their faces and bodies so it's only in the background. And then I'm going to pull that down a little bit. And th this particular layer is on soft light. And then the concrete layer, I'm just going to have on screen. I'm, I'm going to have it on pretty heavy, uh, maybe 50 to 70 percent. About 50 should look good. I think to add more to the effect here, because uh, it's so vibrant, I'm going to desaturate it a little bit. Maybe pull down the vibrance. And I could warm it up a little bit too. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section of this video. And if you have any suggestions or things that you'd like to see, comment that too. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and tell your friends. And remember, create, share, repeat, and keep it awesome. I'll see you next time.